Let's see how can we change cosine of an inverse sine x into an algebraic expression. First thing, we have to notice that this part right here, for any inverse trig function, it represents an angle. So I can begin by saying something like that theta equals to that angle, which is theta equals to inverse sine x. And once I have this equation, I can apply the regular sign on both sides. And this way, the original and the inverse cancel each other out. And we're talking about sine of an angle is equal to x. Based on this piece of information, we should be able to come up with a right triangle because that's how sine is defined in a right triangle. So if you look at a right triangle, and let me just draw a right triangle this way, so pointing to that. And I will just always call, so we can be consistent, let's put theta right here, okay? So based on this piece of information, I put the theta right here, and we're talking about sine. I will have to figure out, I will have to figure out um, these three sides. Sine in the right triangle, this means we have to do the opposite over hypotenuse. And as you can see, we have x, but we can look at x as a fraction, x over 1. And by looking at this part, we know that the opposite can be written as x, and I can label the opposite side right here as x. And the hypotenuse can be 1, so I put down one, the 1 right here. And I just need to figure out what's the third side that I don't know. I can do this pretty easily, right? Because I can use the Pythagoras theorem. We have two sides already. I'll call this A. So we know that A squared plus X squared will give me one square, which you will well, just put on one square. And then to get A, I have to subtract X squared on both sides. A squared equals to one minus X squared. One square is one. I can take square root on both sides. A is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared. And you take the positive square root for this. Anyways, a is square root of 1 minus x squared. And now we are ready to go. Because here, we are talking about cosine of the angle. And this angle is exactly theta, because we said so. Right? Theta is equal to the inverse sine x. And then, by looking at this picture, we are doing the cosine of this angle. Cosine is the adjacent, which is square root of 1 minus x squared. Square root of 1 minus x squared over the hypotenuse, which is equal to 1. And of course, we never need to write down the 1. So in another word, cosine of inverse sine x is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared. And perhaps I will just put this down right here, so we can be more formal. This is equal to square root of 1 minus x squared. And I have to box my answer as usual. That's it.